well, hello. <laughs> it's been a little while since I've uh, picked up a camera at all. I just haven't. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Just haven't done it. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. It's about 9.30. We have been up in Adam for a long time already. Um, Brett is out getting wood with a friend. And he should actually be back shortly. He was already gone, like, hours ago. And I had some girls stacking wood, and the little kids have been up and playing. Um, we finally put the hammock up yesterday, and so they have been playing in the hammock. Um, yesterday, I worked out in our garden for about three hours. <laughs> and so, um, woke up this morning, and my wrist and arm are all, like, swollen. So... I'm going to blast through a couple of baskets of laundry and then I'm going to sit with ice on my arm. <laughs> Who knew picking weeds like this for hours would like injure my wrist? So stupid. I mean silly. That is, I'm sure there's a ton of stuff to update on. But I'm just going to start with where we are and what we're doing. So today I'm going to clean out our pantry, probably clean out the refrigerator, and kind of assess what we have and see if I can't meal plan for a few days here with what we have without going to the store. Um, we'll be doing music at church tonight, so we have to practice that. Um, I don't know if you can hear, but Gianna's already, she's practicing I think a little bit. Um, other than that, I just need to go room by room, straighten things up, I'll vacuum, just get the house in order so that we can just enjoy the rest of our weekend. Um, I might actually do school with the kids today because our summer days and weekends look kind of the same. We are not in any activities. Um, music lessons have stopped for the summer. Gianna might have a bass lesson at some point, but we literally are not doing anything. So we already went on our summer vacation to South Dakota. Um, we are we have a little bit of a break between summer guests. Um, so yeah, we are just living the summer life. Just kids are playing and I need to get started planning for next homeschool year. But anyway, All right, I was in the middle of Yikes. Um, folding laundry. Someone told me that he has a store. Is this the store? Do I have to knock before I come in? Yes. Ooh, oh my goodness, look at all this stuff. Look at those. Oh, this must be a Star Wars theme storm. There's lightsabers. Are you the store sh the storekeeper? He must be the storekeeper. You're a very cute storekeeper. He's a storekeeper. Hmm, let's see. I think I need this Nerf gun for sure. Um, but this will do me no good without Nerf bullets. So can I can I buy all of these or can I just buy some? Buy all I can only buy all of them? Okay. Got my stuff. Here you go, storekeeper. This is what I want. Thank you so much. Oh, I haven't given him any money yet. Here you go. You're welcome. Um, I'll go. Where are your other sisters? Do they need to come to your store too? Yeah? Stuff in your store is going to run out soon? Okay. Well. That's what happens, I guess. It's progress. Do -do 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 -do. I have, it's probably one and a half loads. Oh, I have my fan on, that's loud. Um, <clears throat> I have another load. Another load in the washer. So once that's dried, I'll do that and then we'll make sure we get all this stuff put away. Um, I hear music and lots of music. So that means someone's cleaning still, someone's practicing piano still. Um, anyway. So I am now, even though I feel like walking around and picking up. So we just have like clutter everywhere. Um, like my desk is just a disaster because I just would kind of just set things down. So a lot of our surfaces are just full of stuff that didn't get taken care of. So that'll probably take maybe 45 minutes tops going to each room, picking stuff up, putting them where they're supposed to be. Um, so I really want to do that but I really think the responsible thing to do is to put some ice on my arm because it hurts. I feel like such a wimp. And then actually to add to my wimpy feeling, um, I was helping Brett move some wood and I did something to like my upper back, shoulder, neck area. So I can't, 
I don't have a lot of like range of motion to do stuff like my ponytail is what it is because I couldn't really reach back there to do anything with it. I'm kind of a mess. Um, I did ice and then I did heat on my wrist. I'm sure this is so interesting. Anyway, it looks a little red because I maybe overdid it a little bit. Um, anyway, I am now moving on to heating <laughs> my neck and upper back. This is, I'm telling you, this is a pathetic, patheticness of me here. It's patheticness name, a word. I think it is. Anyway, kind of pathetic. All right, here is the situation. Um, I have a couple kids playing Play-Doh. Brett, I don't know if you can hear that. He's practicing vibraphone downstairs. Um, I am about 85% sure that I am coming down with whatever everybody else in the house has. Why is that? Why is it that moms get it the very last? So everyone's had it, taking care of everybody, you're tired because you haven't been sleeping, and then I get it? That's just not cool. Anyway, I don't know what it is, but watching everyone else go through it doesn't look like fun. Um, it's just like a cold-ish, some virus thing of some sort. But so far, all my big kids have been running like a low-grade temp with it, which... Anyway, maybe that won't happen. But I can already feel my throat hurting. And then add to that my, <laughs> my neck and my wrist. I'm pretty much a mess. For a nice long walk on our treadmill. I was going, I started outside because it is a absolutely beautiful day. Sunshiny, warm, beautiful, not too warm, not too buggy. And I had a deer that would not leave me alone, which I realized deer will probably leave. Um, when I don't remember how old I was, but my, I think I was already out of the house. Um, but my parents had a deer come into their yard and attack their dog, who was not provoking this deer at all. Um, so I did a whole loop of our yard, and then I look, and unbeknownst to me, a deer is like smack dab in the middle. She was following our cat around, which is weird. Our cat's like walking around, the deer's like following her. I'm like, does not look like she's acting normal. Maybe she is, she's probably just overly tame. Um, our cat didn't look like she was really appreciating being followed around by a deer. Um, but also, I'm the only adult here right now. So I'm like, if I get charged by this deer, I'm pretty much sunk. I was, I was probably taking more precautions than I would have had other people he'd been here who could drive me to the emergency room if I got clobbered by a deer. We are about to start having, with our guest part of our summer, Gianna's godfather, who is a priest down in Austin, Texas, will come stay with us for a week. He's done that every summer but one um, that we've lived here. And so it's super duper fun time. So we're excited for that. I'm trying to get some school stuff done because then after that, um, Brett's mom comes for a couple of weeks and we're going to uh, Mackinac Island, which we've never done before. It's not even close to us, really. It's gonna be a legit road trip. So um, we're gonna do that. And then after we get back, my big kids come home. And after that, some good friends from DC are coming who we have not seen, all of us have not seen well, for way too long, I'm trying to think. I have not seen them since Ephraim, was he even a year yet? No, I think he was just a baby. Yeah, he was just a baby. So he was like six months old or something. And then Emma and Brett and Veronica went and got to see them last summer. Um, but yeah, I don't think any of the little kids have seen them. Anyway, they're pen pals with their kids. These are like some of our best friends ever. And they're coming and so we're excited. And we're all gonna stay healthy so we can all get together. And even if we're not healthy, we're gonna get together. Just hey, update on the day. 
I am cleaned up. The day is basically almost over. I don't have a whole lot to show for it. Oh, it's loud. Ah, I don't have a lot to show for it. Um, I just stuck my hair up in this, I don't know what this thing is. I guess it's a little bun. Um, cause it is hot in here today. And the project that Brett was working on, I said, when they left, I said, I will see you at dinner. And Brett's like, no, it won't take that long. It's 4.35. And they still have to stop at the lumber store and pick up lumber for a project that we're doing. <laughs> so he probably won't be home till about six. So anyway, that's fine. Right. Slight update. We have some wood stackers. Have you found the snake yet? Yeah. You did? Oh, I found it. Really. Back in this pile. Oh, gross. We have a garter snake in this pile. The good news is we don't have any, like, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, venomous is the word I'm looking for, not poisonous, but venomous snakes. Um, on a whim, we decided that tonight would be a good night for the kids to sleep in the, in the playhouse. I'm not usually that person. Does that make me cool? It does. Is that no. Tom T. Hall on the... No, it's some weird some wor Someone worse, if that's possible? All right, so let's see how... You guys have things set up in here yet? You're deathly afraid of spiders. That's so weird. Get a stick and kill it. All right, let's see. It's a little warm in here. Oh, they have the windows cracked open. All right, here's what we're doing here. Coming in? Yeah. Okay, you tell me who's sleeping where? Ephraim is sleeping up in the loft. Alright, so Veronica and Ephraim, whoa, that's sunny up there. You're gonna sleep up in the loft. I'm sleeping in the bench. You're sleeping on the bench. He's sleeping in the balcony. Okay, can two see people sleep on the bench? Yeah. Technically? I mean, I mean two very short yeah, people, I guess. It depends on, like, if you're here. Okay. Then Belle's sleeping in the nest. Belle is sleeping in the nest. So if someone's out here on the balcony, too? Yeah. Felicity's gonna sleep on the balcony? I don't know if she's set it up yet. Okay, I don't know if it's set up. Oh, let's see if I can open this. Okay, let me help. I got it. I'm just... Nope. Nope, nothing's set up out here yet. Okay. So Felicity's sleeping on the balcony. So she'll be out here. Oh, look, there's some chickens. Hello, chickens. Chicken, chicken, chickens. We're letting them out so they can eat some ticks. Here's my garden. It looks so nice. Oh, and that one bird. Pella. Um, okay, so we are gonna bring a fan in here, too. Ooh! And if, yeah, so we need a fan, you guys need a pillow, you need some cards or something. And we can put that in that little pocket. We can put the cards in that little... Oh, wow, there's a there's pocket a in the pocket? sleeping bag, yeah, I guess. Yeah, there's a pocket in my sleeping bag. Alright, so I'm let's go find you guys a fan, because it is really nice out here, but it's really warm in there. Alright, giddy up, people. So, let's, go. let's see, what kind of fan's gonna work? I don't know, right, because... Okay, get those blankets. Oh, you just stepped in the blanket. Get them off the floor. Okay. Any of our window fans are not going to work because those windows don't open all the way. So I'm not sure what we're going to find. Mom? Yes. You're going to bring some toys? What happened to this snake now? I want a snake update. Is he gone? I don't play a snake. He's gone. My poor car who's being used as a truck. Truck at My car does not like being used as a truck. Right. It's very offended by that. Yeah. All right, let's we'll see how this goes. Okay, thank you. We might miss the stairs. Um, no. So far, not bad. So far, it's working, kind of. There's a tree. Okay. I think you should just park right there. Is that the plan? Um, Van is being brought out to the playhouse and Felicity's getting herself a pillow. And I am gonna put my boots on and gonna put some gloves on. I should probably put pants on, but I mean, I have, I have shorts on. <laughs> I just should probably put long pants on so I don't get eaten by bugs, but I'm not going to because I'm just gonna get out there and help Brett move some lumber. All right, new day. We're just trying along and I kind of forget to film, but that's all right, right? Um, the kids slept in the playhouse two nights in a row 
and now we the weekend is over and we have a list about a mile long um we have Gianna's godfather coming on wednesday and it's not like he needs our house to be super clean but once he comes we are like gearing up for the end of the summer it's gonna be 95 degrees today which is pretty stifling when you live in an area where there's not usually heat and you don't have air conditioning we have one little air conditioning unit which as you can see is just shrugging along already i was smart and i turned it on early before it got oppressively hot um gianna and i stained the deck for about five and a half hours yesterday i didn't think i'd be able to move but i am up and alive so that's good did not feel great but um and then it rained last night it was not supposed to rain there was like zero percent chance of rain and i woke up at four o'clock this morning to the sound of rain luckily i think it's going to be okay um this actually happened the first time we stained this deck it started raining even though it wasn't supposed to like mid stain and it ruined the whole thing and we had to redo it but that did not happen this time thankfully so that is done it needed to happen um brett's working on putting a roof on our wood pile i'm gonna go for a quick walk because if i don't um even though it's getting late in the morning it's almost 10 Ooh, it's almost 10 and it's hot out but if i don't do this now it's not gonna happen and i'm trying I'm trying really hard to get my walk in every day um i finally came to the decision i'm not a runner uh, Brett's been running every morning and a couple of the girls like to go jogging. I'm not a runner. That's okay. I've, I'm, I'm okay with that. Take that off? Yeah. Felicity just got a letter sealed. Is it addressed yet? Yes. It is addressed. To one, John Paul. Mm -hmm. It's on the way. So if you're watching this, you have a letter coming, as long as somebody remembers to put it out in the mailbox. Which isn't always the case. Alright, well I have kids tucked in. I have a husband still out there building something. It looks, by the look of my face, that I've been working out all day long. It's not the case. It's just the fact that it's 100 degrees right now. Actually it's not, but I think it is still like 85. It's 840 at night. 85 degrees. Northwest Wisconsin. This is not normal, people. This is not okay. If you want to know how to get a bunch of northerners to whine and complain, it's doing a 95 day, 95 degrees with like 120% humidity. Make us beg for winter. That's the way this works. Anyway, that is all for today. We have done a ton of stuff. I started off the day with a huge long list. I don't even know where my list went. That's how crazy it's been. Um, I ended up doing laundry out in the living room on that table. It's almost all put away, so I have to do that. It's my trusty air conditioner. Can you hear it? It's super loud. It's like the only thing that's keeping this somewhat tolerable. We basically all just been sweating our tails off all day long. And so my three youngest are sleeping on the floor of their bedroom because I have fans that are just blowing directly on them. Um, oftentimes we have window fans, but the window fans, um, aren't doing anything right now because it's so hot outside. So anyway, that is the story for tonight. I'm going to um, sit down with some water for just a bit, finish putting the laundry away, uh, make my husband come in. We're almost ready for our first guest. We'll just clean bathrooms. Once I clean the guest bathroom, it is off limits to all <laughs> relatives. <laughs> unless it's an absolute emergency. It's supposed to be like 90 tomorrow, which is not 95, so that's good, but it's still hot and still humid. Maybe with some storms tomorrow afternoon, so that always gets a little bit interesting when we have this crazy hot, humid weather, which happens about once a summer. Um, this is the day that I always tell Brett, I think we need an air conditioning unit, like in the bedrooms, or at least in one bedroom that we can blow somehow to everybody else. And every year he says, no. <laughs> there you have it. Which is true. You really only need it out of, for like maybe five days out of the entire year. Um, this happens to be one of those days when everyone's just hot and sticky and gross. You don't really want to do anything. We're not really water people. I know we live next to a huge lake. 
but we're not really water people. And I really don't like beaches, like sand and tons of little kids. No thanks. It sounds absolutely like what a nightmare is made out of. <laughs> so on hot days like this, sometimes we'll take kids to the beach, but not too often because it's just miserable. <laughs> Sometimes, when we're being good parents, when we're being the fun parents, we will go to the beach, but that's not, that doesn't happen too often. True confessions. There you go. Thank you for watching. Good night.